Chris said the same thing right back to me. And he said, man, I'd like to be, he goes next year, he goes, I want to be on that stage more. I want to carry more trophies off that stage. And I said, dude, so do I, I want to do that as well. I want to, I want to prove myself and, and so on. So just to be able to push each other and bring other people along and literally be pushed by others. And on top of all that, you learn from everybody you encounter. And, and we want to learn from people. We want them to learn from us. And if we share, they share. We want to use the, the giver's game mentality. So that's how it all came about. And I and I, I think this is going to be a great plan because we can do this every six weeks for, you know, throughout the year. And, and we're all going to elevate our game. There's no question about that. So that's how it all came about. 100%. And I said the same thing to David. We were all in our tuxedos. We we're dressed up. We we're sitting at this table. I had, uh, you know, one of the gentlemen in my organization, he said, Chris, he goes, that's so awesome. He goes, you, you were up on that leaderboard with superstars, with rock stars of power. And I said, it's not enough. I mean, you know, like Ricky Bobby said, in Talladega Nights, if you're not first, you're last. And I was like second place, third place, second place. And I was like, I'm tired of seeing my damn picture up on that screen and people going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I didn't get the trophy. I didn't get the award. I didn't push myself enough to make that happen. And next year, I will not let that happen. So now I'm back on the leaderboard as far as top tier mentors. Uh, I'm going to be number one in sales, number one in tier. Uh, Ringo and I are going to be fighting for that top spot. I see Charlie on here. Uh, my wife's on here pushing me. I know Carrie's on here. I saw Philip jump on and Mark jump on. And, uh, and we're, we're going to run this recording. We're going to invite some people to the table, but we're only going to have a group of about 15 to 20 guys because this isn't for everybody. This is for the people that are like sitting there at four o'clock at night. And they're like, I didn't hit my numbers today. Okay. And what numbers are we talking about? And what it's going to do, it's going to get you out that door. It's going to take you out of your comfort zone. So accountability is all, it's all about action and accountability. The KPIs that we care about we're not looking at this from a 30,000 foot level business, guys. We're looking at this from street level. Like, what do we need to do to move our business forward? What do we need to do to make sure that we have a healthy bank account? What do we need to do that make sure that we have every single bill in our life paid and there's, there's enough left over for major prosperity, right? So every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, I know that means the guys in California and Nevada and uh, Oregon and I will, we don't really have any sellers in Oregon. Uh, you're going to have to get up a little bit earlier. Too bad. And then uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, we're going to jump on a Zoom call. We're going to everybody match up our KPIs. And you have to be on that Zoom call if you're a part of the Elite Power Warrior Boot Camp. If you're not on that Zoom call, then you better have died. That's the only excuse to not be on that Zoom call. If you can't make the Zoom call for whatever reason, then you got to contact two people that are in this group and let them know, hey, I have a doctor's appointment. I have surgery. I have whatever. Uh, my wife's having a baby. Um, and then let them know. Two people check in with them, say, I can't be on the Zoom. And then you're excused from that Zoom. But then we're going to have some members check up on you. So show up with your weekly KPIs. And then we're going to have tracking sheet. You'll see the next side. It's a Google sheet that you'll update every single day with your numbers. Okay. And the numbers break down like this. We want to do meaningful contacts. David and I know what, what uh, numbers will move your, your business forward. And so we really look at it as like the three, two, and the 10. We know that those are critical numbers. Real estate agents and home service professionals, prospective sellers, and homeowner contacts. So David, I want you to kind of expand on the what it means to contact those roofers, those home service pros, those real estate agents, and why that's going to help move your business forward, not next year, but right now today. Absolutely. And I think, you know, we talked a lot about, listen, what's a contact mean? What is that? What is that? Uh, how does it, how do you quantify an actual contact? And, you know, I was like, well, listen, we're just going to send out five emails and and we'll we'll make sure those emails go out. And then we started thinking about it. And, and Chris like shaking his head, no, that's not a contact. And I said, you know what, you're right. This needs to be, you can send all the emails you want. But if I don't follow up and say, hey, Chris, did you get that email? I wanted to talk about what my you know, company can offer, your roofing company or your real estate, your mortgage, your whatever. If you're not having those conversations, it doesn't count. 
And so what this is, and I love how Chris is describing this, this is not the 10,000 foot level, this is granular. This is the stuff on the ground that gets you in front of people, gets you in front of uh, other trades that are gonna need your services, that are gonna help you expand. This will get you enterprise clients. This will get you sales. This will get you um, sellers underneath of you. So to, to reach out and touch somebody with an email does not count. That is not a point. The point you get for talking to somebody uh, as a as a home service needs to be a conversation you've had. I have somebody booked for next Wednesday, not Wednesday, the next Wednesday, the 10th. I'm driving to Fort Myers, two and a half hour one way to talk to a $40 million roofing company. That's a contact. When I meet with them, the conversation I had today doesn't matter. I'm going to count that on next Wednesday when I talk to them in person. That's going to be uh, that's going to be a contact for me. So you actually have to do something. You have to have a conversation on a phone or in person where you're actually engaged in and and talking to them. It may be you 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 think you're going to hit a home run, and they're like, "Listen, I'm I, we're going to take four months and evaluate until, until next year." That still counts as a contact. You were there and you pitched and you were there face to face and talked to somebody. Great, that's a contact. So we're going to have those and track these goals daily and have a a, a weekly tabulation, if you will, on each of those. But if you meet, if you reach your numbers for the week, you can still have a couple of days where I'm going to be flying next Tuesday. All Tuesdays when we travel for me, and I, it doesn't matter. I don't care because Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I've got days that I can make up for those times. So next week is going to be. I'm going to figure out how to do that, even if I got to work Saturday um, to make up for those times. But we're going to talk to three different professions, whatever you're in your comfort zone. For me, it's roofers. For you, it may be real estate agents. For for you, it may be HVAC contractors. It may be whatever, but whatever is your comfort comfort zone, go talk to them. And then the same thing as sellers, you know, it's find the sellers wherever they are, whether a seller pro or whether a solar pro now or somebody that's talking about getting in there, get talking to those solar, solar pros or solar uh, sellers. And then homeowner contacts, uh, excuse me, um, homeowner contacts, uh, we're looking to talk to 10 people a week. And you've got to have contact with them. This is not like, hey, I, I emailed somebody. I hope they reply. You need to talk to 10 people a week. And the reason that these numbers are, they mean they even may sound like a lot. And I hope they do. I hope they do because I hope you're sitting here going, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Because that's what we're here to do to drive each other to get to those numbers. And, and when we're down granularly talking about these numbers, guess what's going to happen? If you are really having this many contacts with people, this is going to happen for you. You are going to have results. You're going to have better results than what you do now. So that's why we're doing it so granularly and not at a 10,000 foot level. This is we're getting right down into it and, and making this happen at the ground level. So, yeah. And, and just to expand on that, I just got a call like my wife came up here and she's getting some stuff set up for me. And and uh, I got a call from uh, this gal here. It's uh, you can see Blossom Valley Realty. It's the broker that was following up on a question that she had on kind of a real estate uh, a rental contract addendum. And um, and I haven't even pitched to her about presenting in her office yet. So it's like, OK, did you ask your did you ask the prom date out yet? No, I, I mean, I said hi to her in the lunch line, but I didn't really ask her. OK, you didn't you don't have a contact. You don't have a you did not ask her to the prom, period. And so I haven't asked that broker to the prom yet. So that's not even, I don't even get a point for that. Now, I said, I'm going to follow up with her this afternoon. And then I'm going to go out and see her over the weekend. That is a contact, but that's only one. Because now I better make another contact with an agent in that office, have a meaningful conversation, or I need to go down the street. And a lot of you guys are selling virtually. That's totally fine. But blossom in your home area. There is nothing like homegrown. You you uh, thrive and blossom where you're planted. So if you are in, um, you know, if you are in Springville, Illinois, and uh, and you sell virtually into Florida, go around and see some people in your local area. Just just get to know them in your local area because that's the lowest cost per acquisition of lead. Um, and so again, it says contacts. Per day with meaningful conversations and follow up steps. Uh, okay, now this is where accountability comes in. Uh, it's going to be all tracked on a Google Doc. We're all going to have access to it. So as you're putting that information in the chat, Janine is recording that. Um, and uh, if you haven't met Janine yet, because a lot of times, you know, 
uh, I'm the one speaking on stage or whatever, and, and I take all the spotlight, but she actually is, is a critical, critical part of our business, um, integral part of our business. And uh, we just got married and went out to Belize uh, for two weeks. It was amazing. So uh, we're ready to rock. She's going to be helping track him. Why do I always talk? I always talk my mic out of my ear. I got to settle down. I get too excited. And then I just knocked off the clamp. So hopefully you, you guys can hear me okay still. All right. So um, anyway, uh, this will give you access to the the Google Doc. And then if you sometimes I've noticed your WhatsApp number is different from your regular cell number. Just make sure your WhatsApp number, you notate that in there. And then David or myself. Or Janine will add that to the WhatsApp. So, because we're gonna have an accountability group, and this is where it's really cool, you guys. You guys are not gonna be doing this on your own. We're gonna be competing, and and I'm doing this for selfish reasons because I want to move my business forward. But we're helping each other out. We want to know what out there is working. So, like, what is working, right? I have these sheets. I'm gonna share this template with everybody, and you can see it's just a cardstock, you know, handout done really nice that you know you can go and hand somebody i love having things in my hand when i go talk to people because i don't feel awkward like hey you know like door knocking i couldn't imagine door knocking and not and just having a cell phone in my hand i like having literature that i can hold and i can even hand it to people so they can follow along with what i'm saying and if i'm going to go in and talk to real estate agents i want something that i can give them and then uh tom cotter has this new book that he gave me the the 100 million dollar leads and i know he's given it to a few of us um, and so that, that in there is a program. I was just looking through it and, and look at this. It says, uh, during my hardest days, I re repeated the same phrase to myself. I cannot lose if I do not quit. And so we want to, let's say, let's say you guys show up, um, uh, on a Friday for check-in, right. And you guys have 14 points out of 50, right. And you're like, I just failed. No, you didn't fail because you didn't quit and you showed up when it counts, right? You just need, we need to ask, if you failed your 50 points or less, then we need to ask two questions. What got in your way? So that's really important. So, so write that down. What got in your way? And who is the person that I need to become to accomplish these points? That's, those are the only two questions. What got in your way? What, who is the person that I need to become? Those are so important in life, right? What got, I, well, I, David, man, <laughs> funny thing. Uh, my dad called and they were having a barbecue. So of course I had to drop everything I was doing. I had to rush over to the barbecue. Okay, well then don't play. This is not a game you want to play in, right? You do not want to be an elite power warriors. I'm not saying, hey, put everything on hold, but let me tell you what I'm doing in these next six weeks, right? Of course, I'm hitting the gym in the morning. That's that's a given, right? My health is important, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, remove alcohol from my daily activity. I love to have a cocktail at night, you know, sitting there talking to my wife about the day, planning tomorrow, and I have a little gin and tonic. Uh, but that is not going to be a part of the equation in the next uh, six weeks. And I'm sure we'll go to a football game, but you know what? Water is just water is just fine at the football game, and uh, don't have to have the, uh, the the cocktail. So I'm gonna remove that. And I'm just going to focus. And then there's a lot of events that we have coming up that we just said, hey, we, we can't do it because we're so focused on this. Because we can do this. Remember the concrete. I want to. I hope you guys have that that visual in your mind, the concrete licking. Um, and then look at this. I took a picture of this today. This sun run sign, right? What do you think? Who do you think this Jacob guy is? If you could guess, what is what does Jacob do for sun run? So he's a seller, right? So I just snapped his number. I'm going to contact him now and say, hey, how's, how's everything going with Sunrun? I saw your name up. I saw, you, you know, you're doing some marketing. Uh, and I wondered, you know, how's everything going? What's your profit like? And kind of, you know, introduce him to the, 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 the platform. Um, so we're going to be sharing those strategies um, on the WhatsApp group that's the Giver's Game Mentality. And David, I know that was important to you to, to share about that. Absolutely, man. And listen, if, if, if you guys find something that's motivating to you and or if Chris and I or anybody on this platform find something that's motivating to them, share it on the WhatsApp, put it out there for everybody to grow and, and learn from. I'm going to be able to put stuff in, you know, on the very top where the documents are stored. If you got something, a book that did absolutely knocked your socks off, if you've got a, a playlist of music that gets you amped like no, no other, let us hear it. Let tell us, share us with it. I want to, my goal 
is to come out of a couple different meetings from a, from a roofing company and walk out the door and say, hey, this is what I did to get into this building. And these are the two phrases that I said that sealed the deal. You guys should try it. And that's the kind of giving that Chris and I are, are, are wanting to bring to this. And we're hoping that it rubs off and everybody's wanting to do the same thing. So I want to share everything that we have and, uh, and, and, and really elevate the whole entire group. And Chris, I hope that's answering your question. It does 100%. And I hope you guys are ready to go on this. Like I said, this is not for everybody. But, you know, like week three into the competition, we know who's going to stay and who's going to go. So we're going to get some T-shirts designed and sent out. I mean, not designed. They're already designed. That's the logo right there and the logo behind me, the Elite Power Warrior. Um, it's just taking the Power Warrior up to the next level. And then at the end of this competition, we'll be able to post this because I'll, I'll have it ordered and, and it'll be on its way is, you know, like a, uh, a wrestling championship title belt. So the winner, the point leader, and the one that's moved that, that, uh, that gauge the highest, moved that barometer on their business the, the, the most, um, it, it's all through activity, guys, is going to hey, get that championship I title. I got, a question. I got a question about that belt, man. Yes. Who, who's going to be wearing that belt? Me. Right here, right I'm here, gonna hear a bunch right of here. There, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold that thing up on stage at Power World in Orlando. I'm going to be like, whoa, 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 yeah. I love it. I love it. So yeah, that's that's exact. I love it. Somebody's already asking for shirt sizes and everything. It's fantastic, Mark. So yeah, that, the thing about that belt is, we every one of us want that belt. That's yet another thing. Even as simple as that is, yet it's so complex. If you think about the psychology of it, I know it's crazy, but we yeah. all want that, and we're going to be pushing each other. So and, guys, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't even wait. I can't wait. And I guarantee you we're going to go through two or three cycles of this elite power warrior before Orlando. And so there's going to be people showing up with the championship belt. People are like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, I could explain it to you, but it's kind of elite, bro. I, you know, I can't. So I want to see just people just freaking, you know, jumping on board on this thing. It's going to be awesome. Cause I know people are going to see this. They're going to want to jump on board and then they're going to put their information and uh, cause I know Rob and Ray said they're tied up today, but they're going to be jumping in as well. Um, it's, it's going to be awesome. So uh, is there any questions from the group before we cut this thing? I just have one thing. To do real quick. I just knocked my speaker out again. I just, get too I just have, I just have two is there things any questions from the, uh, from the people that are on right now. If you're, if it'll you're help other people, messing up. I just got two things to say. And they're really, really brief. One is the only conflict as I look on the calendar is the Massachusetts and Connecticut development meeting for Friday at this time, but again, I mean, at 11. Um, so that if anybody's in Massachusetts or, or, or Connecticut market, that's going to conflict. That's the only thing as I look at the calendar. So that's going to be uh, Fridays. It starts at 1030. We start at 11 on Fridays, right? So that will be conflicting. But other than that, there's not a, nothing else on the calendar. We do this uh, intentionally right before building with Bobby. As we do this, we're going to take our positive energy, our excitement, go rolling in right into building with Bobby and those and combine those two hours. And oh my God, I cannot wait. And secondly, I want to mention this. And I know um, there's probably people thinking like, listen, this isn't, what's the difference between this and Jim Bunch? And, and, and I want to be really clear that it, Chris and I have talked about this a lot as well. We both think Jim Bunch is the best in the world. There's nobody better and, and, and more, educated and better with people than Jim Bunch, no one. And, and Jim is, is collectively an amazing human being. This is a, just a different style. Jim is able to take everyone and make them better. And for us, we are looking to take people that are doing well and crush it. And we are, and the difference between us and Jim, just quite frankly, is we're taking the gloves off. You know, yeah. Jim is very hands on politically and just and he will never offend anybody. He's always going to support and raise everybody up. We're a little bit different in that manner. So Jim Bunch, absolutely the best thing in the world. Love that man to death and what he's done. But this is just a completely different style and different agenda, not a different agenda, because our agenda is to get better. But we're different approach. And, and, and a different style. And, and is that how you would say it, Chris? Is that a good synopsis? A hundred percent. Yeah. Because, you know, we want to focus, I've never been through such a great training as, you know, healthy, wealthy, and happy. Um, and, and when I put, you know, happy first, cause it was happy, healthy, and then wealthy. When I put happy first, my life just kind of got better. I don't, I can't explain it, but you know, 
my our relationship got better. Um, just kind of our focuses got better because we didn't put it all on wealthy. Okay, this, my friends, is all about wealthy, and this is probably a little crazy. We might you know, drop a few F-bombs um, during the Zoom or, you know, we might say, hey, come on, man, cut the bullshit, like get busy, get like, there's nothing that should get in your way. I know, I understand we all have lives, but if we want to go full in, you know, I'm full-time in this business. Many of you guys are full-time in this business, but even if you're part-time, this is a great way to get full-time and and truly, you know, taste the freedom. So if there's no any no other questions, um, you know, one thing I... I I've been fortunate to to be able to talk on stage at Power, and uh, I remember I was at Power World, and I was all dressed up, had hair all done up. Man, you you did a great job. That hair is just on point. But you know, speaking of hair, David, what is the first thing that uh, those young folks have to do when they go into boot camp? Listen, when you go into boot camp, you, you pretty much come out like me. You pretty yeah. much come out with beautiful locks, and you come out with low. Well, you look like me, man. You, they always buzz your hair, right? Is that what so, you're asking? Yeah. So, yeah, I guess I better get ready for boot camp. I got the, uh, I guess the uh -oh. clippers here. You're doing this, really? They're, they're on, and I better take off my glasses. But yeah, my wife doesn't even know about this. But I guess we got. Are you doing this, really? We got to take some some hair off, and we got to <laughs> cut, cut it and get. He is get, not. We got to <laughs> we got to get ready. We got to get ready for boot camp. Crazy. Right? Oh my gosh. I got so much hair product in though it doesn't want to cut just right, but I'll I'll make sure that I. Uh, Dean, did get you all not this... know he was doing that? He's not going to. No, so he's too vain. <laughs> this will uh, this will shave up. See, it's it's starting to come off, but I just gotta. I'll get it. I'll get the uh, the the finished look. <laughs> so go ahead and fill in the gaps, David, and and get everybody fired up, and I'll I'll get this. I don't uh, know what gaps to fill in, brother. That's pretty impressive, man. First of all, you said you're going to give up on alcohol, not give up on it, but you're going to stop drinking alcohol during this, and now you're really taking a commitment and uh, going through boot camp the right way and trimming your hair. I don't know, I don't I don't have no answer for that, man. I'm I'm pretty impressed to be honest. If with I you. show up to boot camp and I got a full head of hair, man, something's wrong, right? So. It's coming off slowly but surely. I got to get through all that gel and hairspray I had to use because my hair was so long. <laughs> hey, you're going to see hair products these next six weeks, you know? Being in Belize for, you know, a couple weeks, you know, it uh, you just kind of let the hair grow and get all shaggy. So I got to get back to reality, get back to work and start uh, getting it off. But I'll, I'll get it all off. It's, I got a little bit off Look the front there. So it'll, really it'll come off. I love this. I love your commitment. You're, you know what you're doing. You're saving time every morning that you can get out on the doors. There you or, go. Of there we go. Now it's coming off. It's coming off good. So, all right. Well, Charlie, I hope you're ready. Carrie, I hope you're ready. Janine, I know you are. Mark, Philip, all you guys on this call. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll make sure I will tidy this up. I might have to have my can wife. Can you put that full screen? We want to see this full screen, man. <laughs> I might have to um, have my wife touch up the back a little bit so we can square it off and make it look good. But uh, yeah, all this hair is coming off. We'll get can you we'll guys. Get nice what we're watching, good. unbelievable. Yeah, I'm ready for boot camp. I don't know if you guys are. Let's do this. All right, Charlie, are you ready to kick your? Uh, Let's go, buddy. I'm ready to rock. Yes. All right, guys. Well, hey, it's been a pleasure. Uh, oh, it's, it's short. Wow. I look forward to this and uh, let's support each other and let's go kick some solar ass and let's yeah. make Jonathan Bud proud as can be. He says, let's take massive action. So again, let's take massive action. Love you guys and uh, make sure you guys get all your information to Janine. Um, and then if you're watching this on Facebook, then put it in the comment thread and we will record it. And October 2nd, we're kicking off Elite Power Warrior Boot Camp. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for showing up. We will see you guys soon. Have a great day, guys. All right, you guys. Bye, guys. Have a great, great rest of your day. See you guys.